I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making a thumbnail picture. Hi, Tactico here. Today we're going to be talking about my new slide for my Glock 19 from Strike Industries. I want to thank those guys for existing, not for giving me this because I, I bought it, but the reason I got this is so I can put my RMR on it. I got my RMR right here. I'm straight from China. I'm really excited about this guy. The Halo Sun. Hollow Sun. All right. Comes in a very nice container here. Ooh. It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh box. This is awesome. Make sure no moisture gets on it. All right, that's the way it comes right there. Okay, battery, okay. All right, so here are the instructions on what we're working with here. But I don't need no damn instructions. So what we're gonna do here is, first thing I need to do is, uh, for, so the first thing we're gonna do here is put the battery in. The battery is conveniently located on the side, so I don't have to take off my RMR, unlike the Trigicon, which you do have to take off completely. So we take the battery right there, it has a plus sign on either side. There's a plus sign on the top of the battery. Go ahead and stick it plus side down, which is positive. Stick it back in there. Take this screw. The screw is very nice because it's got a little bit of a blue Loctite right on it. That's about good. You don't want to strip it out. So just another good quarter turn after it snugs down is good. So that guy's good to go. Now what we need to do is remove this plate. So Hollow Sun and Trigicon use the same uh, mounting system. So if your slide is cut for a Trigicon, it'll also work for a Hollow Sun. Now I can't promise your Hollow Sun will work for you, but I do promise. Okay, so now we're going to install the mounting pins. These two little guys, you don't want to lose them. Not easily replaced. Can't find those in Home Depot. And, and for this particular model, I'm going to be placing these guys in the outermost forwardmost holes because that's what the instructions said that I didn't read there so for this particular model you're going to use those two holes there but this slide comes with a multitude of options for different mounting systems I'm going to take my my hollow sight right here and Set that aside. What am I missing? Go ahead. All right, I figured it out. <laughs> All right, so now what we need to do, uh, these two uh, are your, your pins, and then these two are your screw holes. So I'm going to take my pins. Line it up there. Now it's very important that every time you mount a optic of any kind, that you push it all the way forward. You hear that little rattle there? You don't want it to move on on you. So as that slide moves back while the gun is firing, you don't want your um, optic staying in the same spot and, and rocking forward. So what you do is you push it all the way forward, hold it in tight, and then take the longer of the two screws and you stick it in there. Take that guy, drop it into the hole. Start that screw. Now don't snug it down yet. Just get it started. All right, then we're gonna get that other screw in there. All right, so if you notice, there's a little side-to-side -side wiggle. That's okay. Push that thing all the way forward. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and snug that down as much as I can with my fingers on the short side of the Allen wrench. And then what I'm gonna do is take that long side of the Allen wrench and just give it another quarter turn. Maybe not quite, maybe an eighth of a turn. Okay, saw a guy take a thing and whack his optic, so maybe I'll try that too. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Yeah, optic whacker, not impressed. Okay, you press that plus button to turn it on, and once it's on, it, you can leave it on for a... Uh, one of the amazing features of this particular optic is the solar panel here that charges the battery in sunlight. So according to Hollow Sun, this battery will last approximately 50,000 hours of battery life, which is, I think, on par with the Trigicon. Um, also, it has a solar feature um, that works in tandem with the bat. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm very impressed. I, I like the ridging on the inside here of the optic that's going to help reduce glare and make the optic clear. 
I got a top secret feature for you guys. See, you see that um, that kind of round um, optic there, um, the, the reticle. See that round reticle there. So if you hold the minus sign down for a couple seconds, it will change to a individual dot. So that's a cool feature. You can go back and forth to your two different optic displays, two different reticles. So there's a circle without the dot. You do it again. You get your dot. So right now we're testing the parallax on this, so you can see how much that the reticle shifts as our eye shifts in placement. I'm actually quite impressed. I will say that that reticle is not really moving around very much. Do we have a focal point? Oh, there's a dot on the wall. It's not well lit, but yeah, you can see that dot, dot far back there, and it's staying on that dot pretty consistently. You can see that black dot in the back, and as we shift our focus from one side of the lens to the other, we can see that the reticle is actually staying in the exact position. Um, so we have pretty much zero parallax from what I can tell. That's incredible. I am thoroughly impressed with the parallax test. It's much better than I expected. For only $400, you too can own this beautiful, wonderful, incredible hollow sun optic with zero parallax, two different reticles, solar power capacity, 50,000 hours of battery life, and a tiny little chip that allows China to spy on you. Oh, or you can spend $600 on a Trijicon who has less features. And you have to install the battery by completely taking it off. Now I'm taking this Strike Industries slide and reassembling my Glock. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I love that. That is that is amazing. All right, so I still have to zero it, of course. Uh, to do zeroing, we have our adjustment here. That's going to go up. So I'll turn left to go up because there's an arrow that points left, and that goes up. And that's to move the strike of the round up. So if I shoot a target and it's low, I'm going to move it to the left. If I shoot a target and it's high, I'm going to go in the opposite direction, which is down, uh, which is away from the arrow. On this side, we have a little arrow, and it says R. R for right, so if, if I'm shooting to the left of the target and I need to move the, um, the bullet to the right, then I will go ahead and move it towards that arrow. If I'm shooting right of the target and I need to move it left, I will go ahead and move that guy to the opposite direction of right, which is left. If that confused anybody... Yeah, you definitely while using a um, red dot, you want to have both eyes open. Or any type of reflective sight, halo sight. All you nerds out there who care about the terminology of what the optic is doing. If I have a single magnification, single plane focal lens. If I have an optic like this, where it's a dome shapey thing and it's got a little red dot or a green dotty thing inside of it that's bright, like a bright thing, I'm always both eyes open. Unless you can't find it. <laughs> no, no, it's actually because I'm looking at a bright light and I'm literally washing it out. <laughs> if I go like this, I can see it just fine. Oh, man, my eyes hurt. So in conclusion, to save a lot of money, as opposed to getting the Trijicon site, the Halo Sun is a fantastic replacement at just about $400. It has more features than the Trijicon, and it works just as well if not better. Um, I am very excited about getting this thing out to the range and zeroing it. The optic is on right now. You can't see it, but I just did. Um, it's on right now, and I'm going to go ahead and drop it to see if I can break it. Because I just spent $400 on it, and what else do you do? You want me to, you want me to drop this? Really? Th okay. That's not a fun sound. Uh, it's all still there. Hey, it's still on. All right, we're good. Another one? All right. Yep, still there. The gun is unloaded. Oh, 
I'm not pointing it at my face. Let's not use that one. Stay tuned for part two, where we actually shoot this thing at the range. I want to introduce the K-Tactical mascot coming soon. She needs a name. If you have one, make sure to put it in the comments. Also, like and subscribe. Um, make sure to smash that like button. If you don't like the video, still like it. Like this. This is what the like button looks like. It's a thumbs up. You just click this one. Not, not this one. This one. You click this one. This one.